Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for all things beauty, hair, fashion, and lifestyle. If it's your first time here, then welcome to the Lady M fam. While you're here, just go ahead and stop, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you know whenever I upload any videos. To all my oldies, welcome back. Glad to have you join in for another video. Today I'll be recreating this look for you, utilizing products that I picked up during my recent haul video. So if you haven't seen that video, then I'ma link it right above. I'ma need y'all to go check out that video, see what all I picked up, and then come back and watch me recreate this look with the products from the haul video. In the end, I will definitely be sharing my thoughts, what I think about the products, if I like them, am I gonna use them? So if you're interested in seeing all that, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're about to get into this look using all new products. I already primed my face. I used the Remel uh, London Mattifying Stay Matte um, Primer. I used that for my brows. I used the Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator. I did that for my brows. And then um, today I'm gonna be using the Oma Beauty Foundation for the first time. Um, I picked this up during my Ulta haul and I, this is the shade Brown Sugar T2W. Um, and then I have the Oma Beauty Concealer, uh, the Woke Concealer, and this is in the shade um, T2 Brown Sugar. And then for my look today, I'm going to be using the Sandstone Palette from ColourPop. Also something new that I just picked up. Um, and pretty much all drugstore, all affordable products is what we're going to be doing today in this look. So let me get in with this foundation. The box says to shake very well, so I am doing that. I did um, notice that it was very runny. Um, I don't know what's up with that. So I don't know if I didn't shake it up properly or like what, but it was very runny. I did notice that. So I'm trying to make sure that I have stuff around so I don't like mess up myself. Um, so yeah, let's get into, see? See how runny it is? Ooh. All right, I have been trying to get this foundation um, applied, but I have not been successful. It is like super runny. So like every time I pump it, it's not even coming out like thick. Look, it's so runny. And look at the bottle. I do not like that. So, let me see here. If I could just try to work with it in sections or something. Do not, don't know what I'm doing wrong. And it doesn't seem like it has a lot of coverage. I don't know, y'all. <sighs> Oh God. So yeah, not really. Let's see. All right, so still trying this. I did do my brows. So um, we're using the Oma Beauty foundation. It is just watery. I cannot, I don't like that. I'm trying to make sure that I shake it very good because I don't want to deal with all of that like watery. I don't know. Maybe I'm not shaking it good enough because it's just coming out hella watery. You know what I mean? So let me see. Boom, see? I gotta try and like hold my... It looks orange, but it's not. I had blended out some already and it was looking pretty good. Um, so I like the way that it kind of makes my, you know, it just makes my skin look amazing. But as I mentioned, I do not like that it is watery at all. And like the bottle is just looking messy. Like, I don't know what's up with that. Thank you. 
definitely do not know what is going on with that. So at least this time now that I shaked it up this time, it's not looking so watery anymore. So maybe that was the key, but the bottle is just looking messy. Look at the bottle. I don't know what's going on right there. So we'll see. I mean, it's pretty watery, so I don't, I didn't even know what kind of coverage it's supposed to give, but we shall see. I, I, I mean, I guess I could just put it on something and then, you know, pick the brush up that way, but I don't want to, I don't like doing like that. I just like putting the foundation directly on my face. So I'm going to go blend that out and we'll be back. All right. So got that all blended out. I'm about to go in with the concealer. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this color, but I'm going to let it dry down and see what happens. But I'm going in with the concealer. This is definitely full coverage, for sure, for sure. And I kinda like this kind of color from my concealer. So, that's like a pretty nice color. That's typically what I like. And, yeah just going in and blending putting down the concealer um putting it down my forehead and that's that i'm gonna let this dry down while I blend out my carve, not carve out my lid, but while I um, use the concealer for my lids. So we shall do that, BRB. All right, so blended out the concealer. I really like the concealer. Definitely full coverage. Definitely um, what I like, um, the consistency. I would say full coverage, it's not dry. Like my under eye still looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go in with the um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm gonna use this to set my face. Um, not really sure that I like the color of the foundation. I don't know, so maybe this powder will kind of help me with the yeah with the foundation because i just felt like i don't know it was kind of orange but maybe this powder will kind of help with the color and what it looks like and then for my under eyes i am going to use the beauty bakery flower power or flower powder and I'm going to use the shade plantain and that's what I'm going to use to set my under eye but yeah this powder definitely did change things a little bit so now I kind of feel like the color looks good um, because before I was not liking that color um, so I have the powder. This is, yeah, plantain. And I'm gonna go in, oh my God, too much. <laughs> with my brush first, and then I'm gonna go in with uh, a, the powder brush. I'm sorry, with the Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques powder sponge. And I'm gonna use that to kind of um, press everything in even more. But this is just, First step, okie dokie. So we're gonna go in with our ColourPop palette. And this palette, do you notice that a lot of those colors have some kind of glitter in it or shimmers? So yeah, we're gonna see what this works out. I have my E4 brush and I'm gonna go in my first shade and that is gonna be Grounded. So I'm gonna put Grounded all up in my transition area, transition crease area so just 
going in and padding in this color. And then now as I'm looking at the foundation, guys, I think I like it now. Like the color has dried down and it's like blending in with my skin tone a little bit better. So I am definitely liking the color now <laughs> more so than I was at first. So just working grounded into the crease and I'm not even really sure like what kind of a look I was kind of going for today, but just kind of working this color in this area. Do, 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 do. Definitely uh, something more neutrally for sure. Let's see where this takes us, okay? Um, so I haven't used any ColourPop shadows in a long time. So, so far this is blending out nicely. And I'm gonna just kinda work that. I'm gonna get a fluffier brush and I'm just gonna take that and blend out the um, transition area. So just make sure that this color is softened around the edges. Nothing is on this brush, it's just a clean brush. And that's all I'm doing is just blending out that crease area. Now I'm gonna go in with my second shade. I kinda wanna do this like red, red orange, I don't even know, but that color, I'm just gonna deepen up the crease with this color. I should have probably started with this color first, just to add that warmth. So yeah, just putting that directly underneath that color into the crease area, transition crease area. So yeah, that just added the nice warmth that I was looking for in that area. And that's looking good. Yes, for sure. So got those two colors down. And I think I like that. A lot. So I added in uh, Templeton. That's what I have in the outer V here. And so on this eye, I'm just gonna go ahead and put Templeton in and I haven't changed my brush. I still have the same E40 brush. And I'm just starting out by patting the color into the outer V area. So just patting. I'm not taking it into the crease or anything. I'm just focusing the color right in the outer V area. So picking up some more color on my brush and just going into the outer V area with that color. Not even in, not taking it all the way into the lid, just literally focus, focusing the color into the outer V area just to kind of give me a little bit more depth into the outer V area. So just like so. And now I'm just trying to make sure that I got both eyes looking the same. So you can kind of see that this one is starting to get a little bit of a definition. So just blending out that inner outer and inner. I want to make sure that I have nothing left on the brush before I decide to take that color in to the crease area. So now I'm just kind of bringing it into the crease area, but nothing is literally left on the brush. So now I'm just tapping up some more of that color and just packing it into the outer V. Pack, pack, pack. Just like that, dab. And then just blend, dab and blend. 
as I build the color up in the outer V area. Definitely a lot more darker here, but that's okay because all I have to do is go back in with the first shade that I was using, grounded, and just get that to diffuse the harsh um, corners. So definitely color is very pigmented and I have to say that the colors are blending in very nicely not looking muddy at all no major fallout just nice blended out shades so I'm just going back over here and just kind of getting this to kind of look like the other eye a little bit more Good. Going back in with my first shade called Grounded, and I'm just gonna take that and just kind of go around the edges to kind of soften the edges of this eye. Cause that was the first shade that we put down. And I'm just using that to kind of go in and blend that corner out just some more. And then I'm gonna go in with the fluffy brush and then I'm just going to marry it all up. Just this outer corner here, just marrying all those colors up in this corner. Blending. And making sure that the whole area is blended out nicely with this fluffy brush. Boom. And that's looking good, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop liner. This is Juniper. And not gonna be able to see it, but it is this brown liner and I did get it as part of the Sandstone collection. So it kind of goes with the palette. Um, so I got that on under the lower lash and my lash line and I'm gonna go in with the same shades that I used in the top. So first shade I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get this as close to the lash line as possible and that's called grounded. So just using this to kind of set the gel liner in place. So just getting that and then just kind of wiggling it to kind of blend it out just a little bit perfect so that's grounded got that in and then now i'm gonna go in with um ooh, big what big boot big booty <laughs> big boot that's that red brown color and i'm just going to pack that on under so you can kind of see the red, blend that out just a little bit. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take my E40 and just kind of blend the whole under eye out together. Just kind of blending everything, nothing. Whatever is on this brush is what I'm using to blend that out. And then I'm going to take the Templeton, which is the darkest color that I use. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer area, the outer, outer part of my lower lash to kind of connect it to the top. Cause that top outer corner is dark. So I kind of want to marry those up a little bit. So just going in with that dark color right up in the outer V area, that's it. Just in the outer V. And then just kind of connecting the outer to the top. And then again, just going in with my E40 and just blending all of that out. So like so. Okay, so now I already did this eye. Now we're gonna finish up the other eye. So I'm going in with, um, I'm gonna go in with two shades. I went in with Spring Valley, this color, and then I went in with Red Earth, that other color. So I spritzed my brush with my setting spray 
And so now we're just going to put down um, the Spring Valley on the outer part of my eye lid. So just packing that color onto that eyelid right there. I tried to put it on first without any, without spraying my brush and I did not like that. So I went in and sprayed the brush and then now that pigment is like there cause it was not there before. So got that. I'm gonna wipe that off. And now I'm going to pick up um, Red Earth, which is the lighter shade. My brush is still kind of wet, but I'm gonna spray it one more time. And then pick up Red Earth, boom. And let's put that on the inner part of the eye. Yes. Butamus. Gorgeous. I even had tried using my fingers and it did not give me as much pigment as it did once I sprayed the brush. So there we have that, that down. So now I'm going to take my E40, taking up that dark shade, Templeton, and then I'm just going to marry the outer V color and the first color that we put down. So. Just wanted to blend that out, make sure that there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to take back up Spring Valley on my brush. And then I'm just going to blend out the edges. Just like that. So there we have it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Sephora bronzer. And this is in the shade Ibiza. Ibiza. Um, and this is kind of what it looks like. So let's see. This looks like it's very pigmented. So I have my E. E what? E4 brush from Morphe. And I'm just working that in. So buffing it up. Working that in. Nice. Got a tap. This is very pretty. I like it. I like it. So, got that. Oh, and I did put on my lashes. I did use the Ardell. Um, Remy in 778 or something like that. 778, I will be sure to list the color below. And then for my blush today, I have a um, Black Radiance blush and this is in Toasted Almond. And that's gonna be my blusher today. So let me get that on here just pat pat patting that in very natural um kind of color for sure neutral kind of blush yeah definitely feeling it Okay, so we're back. I did go in with my lip for today and I used two Milani products. I use, what is this? Bold Color Statement Matte Lipstick in the shade I Am Pretty. I Am Pretty and this gloss, Milani gloss in 200 whatever. So it's like they're ludicrous, ludicrous. I don't know. <laughs> How do you say that word? Ludic, ludicrous, ludicrous gloss. I use that as my gloss and my lip is that lipstick 
For my highlight today, I use the Master Maybelline Master Chrome Studio, and this is in Molted Golden, and that was what I used for my blush. And again, everything that I used today will be listed in the description box down below. Again, this was pretty much my first time using a lot of these products. Um, my thoughts on the foundation, like once it dried down and I added the powder, I think the foundation came out very nice. Like I love the way that my skin looks. Um, the concealer, definitely um, thumbs up for me. I love the concealer. I love the coverage. Um, Oh, and the bronzer, I love this bronzer. Very natural um, bronzer from, uh, for here. Um, I love it, it looks good on my skin tone. And it's the Sephora Matte Bronzer in Ibiza. And the blush, very natural blush, um, just blended in with the look. And the palette, I, um, I like the palette. I think the, the powders, were kind of dusty because I did have a lot of fallout um, down on my lower lash. I was able to clean that up. Um, and then you can kind of see, you know, how the palette is. After the shimmers did not really have a lot of pigment. I did try to use them with my hands. I, I found that they came out a lot better once I added the setting spray and I wet my brush that they came out a whole lot better. So I do like it. Like I said, the sh I feel like they performed, ooh, they performed very well, um, considering, you know, that it is, um, uh, color pop my first time using ColourPop in a long time. I am gonna use the other palette I got, the Whatever palette, so I'm excited to try to use that one. Um, overall, like I said, I love the way the look came out. The gel liners were good. It performed very well. I don't know, okay, yeah. It performed very well. I didn't realize that it had shimmer in it or glitter, and I think the glitter were um, chunky because they did get in my eye. My eye has been like irritated ever since, but compared to the first time I used them, they weren't dry, they were soft, they were very blendable. Um, so I really like that. So all in all, not too shabby. I love the look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for joining me in for another video today, guys. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, give me two thumbs up, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.